With regards to biohacking, there's several different ranges. There's low-level biohacking, which you probably do at home. So if we step back a little bit, we're probably doing gratitude journaling, meditation, we're looking at sleep hygiene, we might be doing ice baths, we might be doing Wim Hof breathing, diaphragmatic breathing, we might be doing intermittent fasting, we might be wearing health tech wearables such as Whoop and such as Aura Ring. These are all, this is all biohacking and this is low level what you can do at home. So mid level and advanced biohacking is where you'd come to someone like me for. So we can use modalities such as hyperbaric oxygen chamber, which puts high pressured oxygen at about 90% through your vessels, microcirculation, new vessel formation, feeding the end organs, making them perform better. We can use IV ozone, which is like dialysis of your blood to turn around and take all the inflammation out. We can use IV NAD, which I love, which turns around and resets all your body. They optimize the mitochondrial function on the energy factory in every single cell. We can use prescription grade IVs to give you the output you want, such as mood, energy, sleep, hair, skin, fat loss, whatever you need. And then we can also use IV laser, like green, red, yellow laser to put through your vessels to reduce the inflammation or free radical damage. These are mid-level biohacking procedures and modalities we can use. There's also infrared sauna, there's also cryo chamber. And then we can also hack you in terms of moving the inflammatory markers to the optimal areas that I previously spoke about. So we can use prescription based supplements, but I tend to enjoy or like uh, droppers because you get 90% bioavailability sublingually straight under the tongue. And then there's advanced level biohacking such as exogenous stuff we can use or endogenous stuff. Endogenous things are like medications or hormones or stem cells that we can move the marker in terms of your internal firepower. So we're resetting the fire inside you, getting you to produce the hormones that you weren't producing properly or for getting you to produce the end results that you weren't getting properly but in a more natural way that you're more comfortable with. Exogenous biohacking is where I can take tools, medications, modalities where I can turn around and move the needle to an optimal output that you need.